This is an official audio log from Reformation Abroad. Salutations and a very friendly hello from your friends at the Global Protection Agency. With our Reformation Abroad program, we've teamed up with prison reform organizations across North America to offer the opportunity of a lifetime for those incarcerated. Those lucky inmates will be tasked with removing highly classified global waste by firing crates of these people, uh, um, this waste into a black hole. To find out more about this trustworthy and ecologically virtuous program, be sure to check out Reformation Abroad wherever you listen to your podcasts. Hi, I'm Jennifer, a founder of the Go Kid Go Network. At Go Kid Go, putting kids first is at the heart of every show that we produce. That's why we're so excited to introduce a brand new show to our network called The Search for the Silver Lining, a fantasy adventure series about a spirited young girl named Isla who time travels to the mythical land of Camelot. Look for The Search for the Silver Lining on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. The Breakaway Network. Postal Roach, Y2K, and Hail and Well Met proudly present Another Bad Night, part of the 11th Hour Audio Challenge. But Mom, this is boring! Well, you didn't have to come with your father and I to this party. You could have gone to the neighborhood party with your aunt, but you decided to cause trouble by stealing things from guests, remember? You made it sound so cool. A spooky mansion on Halloween. But it's just a bunch of old people dancing in bad costumes. What else was I supposed to do? A bunch of wealthy old people who might be willing to turn this place into a museum and take it off my hands. I just want to be free of this place. Halloween nights were so strange here. Odd parties, frightening people. Just try to have fun. Talk to people. <laughs> you look so cute as an elf. Who doesn't steal? I'm a half-elf rogue, damn it! It's in my nature! Or you can sit in the corner and do nothing. Move. Now. And make sure Rufus doesn't pee on the rug. Some of the people here might be into it. Paige! Hey, Paige! Paige! Get on over here and talk to these fine people. Gainer, you make a very handsome Frankenstein. You're not so bad yourself, Paige. Vampire? Because you can suck mine. Careful. Remember you're talking about my wife. And I am a guy with a sword, remember? You're dressed as that guy from that one show. Shaky, is it? It's Shoki. S as in Shoki. H as in Hokey. I, dressed like the lady of the house, my grandmother, Veronica Moreau, thought it might drive home my connection to this place. Oh yes, you are the spitting image of her. But you might reconsider turning your family home into a museum. Dark rumors surround it, as you know. Secret societies. Mysterious deaths. <laughs> rumors. Nothing more. I... I never saw anything strange when I was here. This place is just, uh, spooky. <laughs> yeah. Right. Still, I don't know if this is a smart investment. Uh, of course. Well, uh, enjoy the party. Well, honey, that went well. I hate this. You know, I love my family, but I just want to get rid of this house. Stepping inside and in the musty shadows, it, it just feels like my skin is stained and I can never get clean. And the dreams of death. Don't worry, honey. We'll get this all figured out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go talk up those blonde twins over there. You know, for fundraising. Now, just out of curiosity... Does this place have a hot tub? Right. Just remember that I own your soul, honey. Yeah, yeah. And you have my balls in a jar. I'll remember. 
Excuse me. Miss Moreau? Uh, yes? Beautiful angel costume. Love the wings. Thank you. This is such a beautiful mansion. My associates and I are very interested in it. Y you are? Oh, wonderful. I'd hate to see this old place fall into disrepair. Would you mind giving us a tour? Oh, uh, more angels. Uh, nice coordination. <laughs> uh, I could give you a brief tour, sure. This house has been in my family for generations. <laughs> I like to think my ancestors were fans of gothic architecture, since this is a spooky mansion on a windswept hill, <laughs> and maybe a little too much. What do you say to all the rumors surrounding this house? <sighs> They're just rumors, Miss... Angel. Angel the Angel. Clever. You never saw anything going on here? Don't remember anything? No. Should I? Perfect. Seraphim? Hey! What, what the? Let me go! <laughs> Let me go! Rufus! Where are you? Oh, you're gonna get me in trouble! <laughs> Are you in the library? <coughs> what is that? You're right, it's coming from the wall. Maybe if I... goes on forever. Shh, not so loud. Somebody might hear. Let's check it out. So it was written long ago. Beings who were as gods walked the earth. Power over life and death at their fingertips. We call them the sacred. But in its foolishness, humanity feared the sacred and drove the beings back to their realm. But they yearn to be free. So it is written. So shall it be. Every All Hallows Eve, the barriers between realms weakens, allowing contact with our world, but only through a selected one, acting as a conduit. What? The sacred temporarily transfer part of their essence into the selected one to feed on mortal blood. You will do the sacred a great service this night, my dear. Me? So it is written. So shall it be. You two aren't helping! For decades, the sacred have built their strength through sacrifice. Blood for blood, life for life, power for power. Their children, the mortals who knew of the sacred's terrible majesty, met on Halloween nights to make their sacrifices. Uh, my god, you're insane! Then you left, and the gods hungered. But tonight is different. Tonight, we will use the dagger of Cineroth to spill mortal blood, open the barriers between worlds permanently, and let the sacred walk free again. I I've never heard any of this before. I, I can't do any of those things. But you have done this before. So many times before. Each Halloween night. 
You don't remember the rites? The tang of blood in the air? Ugh, oh, the screams? I thought those were dreams. Your family used you as the conduit to the sacred for years. The Moreau family were the caretakers, the leaders of our order. Then you disappeared, and the order dwindled. Look, my parents died in an accident, and my sister took me away with her. I didn't know. How could I? I was a child. And the gods waited, hungry. But no matter. We are all together now. All will be well. <clears throat> Please! Let me go! Let me go! No got the name, Yoga Thor. For the gas, worth God, Yoga Thor. What God of Gatas, Doth Gago, Othagi Doth Gago, No Thagot, Not Gogo, Ah! Lucas! Run! Melody, run! Mom! Grab her! She stole the dagger. We'll never reach her before she leaves the passages. Never mind, pet. We'll enlist help. Mom! Rufus! <laughs> this way! Please, can you help me? Brains? Why do I crave brains? Oh yeah, it's because I'm a zombie. And I want brains. So it is written. No! Excuse me, please help me. My mom's been kidnapped and my dog is missing and... I remember you. From years past. I wanted to feast on your blood. Now, I think it shall be done. N not on your life! <laughs> You're a maniac! Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Hey there, little lady. Didn't you try to help me? Why, yes, I did. And I'm willing to help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Some damn fool stole my hat with my head right in it. I should try to stop helping people all the time. Melody, are you okay? You look terrified. Daddy! Mom's been kidnapped and Rufus is gone and all of these monsters are Mom's right there, honey. Paige, come over here. Melody's been worried sick about you. Mom? It's okay, honey. You have nothing to fear. Are you okay, Paige? You look different. Step back. Don't come any closer. I think you're taking the crazy dark temptress thing a little too far. I mean, I love it. I want you to put a pin in it. We'll have fun in the bedroom later, but... Didn't I tell you, honey? I own your soul. <coughs> so we're not on for sex later? Now, Melody, dear, give us what we want. All of you, seize her! Come here, sweet girl. Don't move, or I'll impale you with my trident. Mommy tells you. We'll use the mummy's bandages to tie her up. And what will I wear? It's a little cold out. Stay back! We don't have to hurt you, Melody. 
But perhaps you need to learn some discipline. What? She rebelled the will of the sacred. That shouldn't be possible. She has this being's blood in her veins. And the dagger. Of course she can. Stop her. She's going through the window. But wait. She dropped the dagger. We can start the ritual again. No, no. We need her. She's stronger than the being I inhabit. Let's use her to open the door. All of you, cover the grounds. Make sure no one leaves. Melody, it's your birthright. This being is strong, but not strong enough. We think you may be the one to free the brethren. We can inhabit any body we choose, but it is an honor to be a vessel for our essence. Never! You possessed my mom? Killed my dad? Why would I believe you? You have been chosen. You are special. Ah, Rufus, darling. Be a dear and get Melody for us. Barriers will close up soon, so time is running short. Give me my mom and dog back! No. They belong to the sacred, as will you. Angel, if you please. So it was written in time, immemorial. Angel, skip to the good parts. The sacred will walk the earth once more. With the dagger of Cineroth, I... Wait, where is it? Looking for this? <laughs> Rufus, kill! Rufus, no! <laughs> it looks like I took care of your magic. I'm getting pretty good at this whole fantasy thing. The mansion is on fire. You will burn in a thousand hells! Ah, let go of me! Bad boy! Bad boy! You want the dagger? Take it! I... I feel terrible. Uh, oh, did you stab me? Oh, Mom! Is, is that you? I think so. Cineroth's gone. Oh, God. I feel like a house fell on me. So much for the mansion. Let it burn. Let's go before people start asking questions. I'll get Rufus. Rufus! What's the matter, boy? You look like you've seen a ghost. Have you, boy? Or maybe... You've seen a demon. <laughs>
Thank you for listening to Another Bad Night, part of the 11th Hour Audio Challenge. Written by Adam Blanford. Directed by Adam Blanford and Vincent King. Featuring the voice talents of Abby Rose as Melody, Melissa Medina as Paige, Adam Blanford as Riley, Cassandra Cherry as Gaynor, Charlotte Norup as Phillips, Rissa M. as Angel, Sheila Morris as Seraphim No. 1, Persephone Rose as Seraphim No. 2, Jesse Keaton as Zombie, Vincent King as Lizard Man, Caitlin Kleiman as Devil Girl, Karen Heimdall as Mummy, Paul Cotton as Vampire, Brian Anderson as Maniac, Steve Schneider as Cowboy, and a collection of random dog recordings as Rufus. Sound effects were provided by freesound.org. Another Bad Night, a collaboration between the Breakaway Network, Postal Roach, the Y2K Podcast, and Hail and Well Met. Have a happy and safe Halloween, and don't take any wooden nickels or demonic daggers. Thanks again for listening. Do you dig science fiction? Then get ready for the hardest hitting sci-fi you've ever heard. The Galactic Football League series by number one New York Times bestselling author Scott Sigler is now a free, unabridged podcast. It's Star Wars meets Peaky Blinders meets Ted Lasso. The GFL is a star-spanning, high-action, high-stakes, coming-of-age story set against the backdrop of a professional football league 700 years in the future. Follow the journey of Quentin Barnes, a gifted athlete who must travel from his backwater system to the galaxy's sprawling empires in his quest to be the best there's ever been. But he needs to watch his back as organized crime runs every franchise, fixing games and assassinating rival players. That's the Galactic Football League series. Search for Scott Sigler, S-I-G-L-E-R, wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, this is Rob Benedict. And I am Richard Spate. We were both on a little show you might know called Supernatural. It had a pretty good run. 15 seasons, 327 episodes. And though we have seen, of course, every episode many times, we figured, hey, now that we're wrapped, let's watch it all again. And we can't do that alone. So we're inviting the cast and crew that made the show along for the ride. We've got writers, producers, composers, directors, and we'll, of course, have some actors on as well, including some certain guys that played some certain pretty iconic brothers. It was kind of a little bit of a left field choice in the best way possible. The note from Kripke was, he's great, we love him, but we're looking for like a really intelligent Duchovny type. With 15 seasons to explore, it's going to be the road trip of several lifetimes. So please join us and subscribe to Supernatural then and now.